life lessons your kids can learn from pop music. Find out why your man may be faking the big O. Honor Earth Day with these eco-friendly purchases. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. I'm Michelle Yarn. And I am Rachel Kay. We're going to talk about some of the things that you are doing that are aging you without even knowing it. You do them almost every day, and we're going to help you stop that. Yeah, I, I took a little sneak at this story. I've done every single one yep. multiple times, so yep. stay tuned for that. And also, we've got a really cool way to help your teens learn how to manage money without all the risk to our bank accounts. Yes. <laughs> so and you'll definitely want to see that. Yeah, it's a good one. It's good. Well, we take time to clean out our closets and our cars, even the gutters around our home. But now it's time to tidy up our Facebook profile, starting with deleting a few of our, quote, friends. The frisky.com says to unfriend the person who shares your post only to criticize it. You wouldn't be around someone who constantly put you down and made you feel bad in real life, so delete. All right, anyone from junior high or high school that you don't actually remember, just unfriend them like they never existed. And the practical stranger who stalks your page, they like every photo, comment on every status, etc. This is borderline stalker when you hardly even know them. And Anyone who makes creepy remarks about your photos, like if they keep saying you have really pretty feet, yeah, you want to do that. Them. That's a little strange, foot <laughs> fetish, I don't know. Or the person who is really into sharing their racist or sexist views. Don't allow your internet friendship to serve as a silent endorsement. And your ex's family members, delete them. Eventually, they'll be forced to unfriend you, and you don't want to see your ex in their photos with a new girl anyways, because, you know, all that cross-promotion of, you know, you can see your friends tagged there, and you want to delete them right one, away. Because I've had friends who have had a breakup, mm -hmm. and they both asked us to unfriend the other, and we're like, great, now who do we unfriend? Are they going to know yes. that we did it? And it's just totally awkward. It's etiquette for your friends, too. Like, if you're friends with your friends' as ex, I had to ask my girlfriend once, I was like, do you want me to defriend your ex-boyfriend yeah, or too what? Complicated. You know? And don't be that person that stalks you on Facebook chat, by the way. That is so obnoxious. It's, <laughs> it's like, as soon as you log on, everybody's, you know, chatting. So That's watch annoying. out for that one, too. <laughs> um, social media, though, it's also a great way to market your company if used correctly. Check out some of these top luxury brands who use it best, according to the Vivant. Um, there's Bergdorf Goodman's recent campaign. It was the hashtag SXBB challenge. So the head of social media there wore a different pair of Manolo Blahnik BB pumps at yes. Austin South by Southwest. Yeah, must be nice, right? And they showed them off on Instagram, so it was tied to a Manolo giveaway they were doing for fans. And then there's BMW. On their Facebook page, they really engage fans with trivia questions. They show off their concept cars. And if you view their YouTube page, you can get an inside look at the cars. Oh, and by the way, their connected drive technology is so cool. It incorporates in-dash access to your social networks. Wow. Like like you need that. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's Burberry. Their recent digital campaigns include Tweet Talk, where they post images of the spring 2012 collection before it hits the runway. And then they put digital chips in the latest season of Coats and Bags that unlock digital content. That's pretty cool, Isn't too. That fancy? Yeah, it's kind of so neat. Tech. There's a lot of ways to do it and, and be successful at it. And a lot of companies will use Pinterest as well. Like I know yeah. HGTV is great because they will pin cool slideshows and you end that up going so to their website fun. and watching their channel you know it's pretty good let's switch things up a little bit yeah a when little it, bit let's when work, it comes that's an understatement. to <laughs> making love women are not the only ones who fake the big o no it seems men are pretending to reach that climax <laughs> as well <laughs> why would they do this well uh, a guy's reasons turn out to be pretty similar to the ones women typically give if they have a hard time climaxing they'll fake it for their partner's benefit. A Harvard Medical School professor who got to do this study <laughs> explained that by faking an orgasm in the guy's mind, it's actually a form of kindness mm. because they're letting the other person know that they've done a good job. And a guy's sense of his masculinity is not about what he actually experienced himself. He gets it through the eyes of his partner. Okay. So whether or not this is actually helpful, I don't know, arguable, <laughs> um, but that's the logic most people have. I just, I mean, physically, I don't understand how, how a guy pulls this off. I heard this is a little more common than, than we thought it was, apparently. I, I heard around like, our office that's, that's been done. And you know how guys, like, it hurts their ego if a girl fakes mm -hmm. it? I think this would be even worse if it was the other way around. It would. most men, I feel like you can just look at them and they can, like, you have no problem with it. That's so. true. You know, at the yeah. end of the day, they could do whatever they want, right? So long as we uh, get satisfied oh in the end, does it really matter? <laughs> Tell right? us how you really feel. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> no. 
fuck. That's horrible. I'm sure they say the same things about us. Yeah, things about us. Well, anyway, lifestyles of the rich and famous include popping bottles and Maybox, but now you and they can sip on a $40,000 drink. Just one. The White Barn Inn in Kennebunk Beach, Maine, will start serving the drink in June. It's called the Ruby Rose Cocktail because, well, it has a four-carat ruby in it. The idea wow. was a guest's joke, but the White Barn Inn decided to take it seriously in honor of its 40th year in business, the ruby anniversary. So the drink's less expensive in ingredients include Hangar One Vodka, St. Germain Elderflower, Grapefruit, Pomegranate Juice, and Rose Water. And you can order the cocktail without the ruby for $18. What are you doing to honor Earth Day today? Well, lifestyle expert Brian Von Diedenroth is here with his eco picks of 2013. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Thanks for having me. Let's jump into it because so much to cover. Let's do it. Okay, so eco-friendly products and services don't have to cost an arm and a leg with okay. RetailMeNot.com. Yeah, they've got hundreds of thousands of coupons that you can use uh, online or in the store for your favorite retailers. You can get savings on everything from reusable cups to energy-efficient light bulbs, and you'll waste less and you'll save more. Plus, you, down you can download the Retail Me Not app mm -hmm. for digital coupons on your phone that you can use in the store. So hey. it couldn't be easier. And then no paper there. No See? paper, exactly. You're going green. <laughs> All right, what else? So Rice Select, producers of American-grown Tex Mati rice, uh, offer organic products from farmers who practice sustainable uh, growing uh, soil and water conservation. Their rice is 100% natural. It's verified non-GMO. Nice. Plus it's sold in these number one rated recyclable plastic jars that you can reseal, you can reuse for all kinds of things. The Rice Select jars also eliminate the need for corrugated cases of cardboard, saving around 20,000 trees per year. So wow. another great green alternative. All right. um, you know, I travel a lot. Yep. Hotels.com makes it easier than ever to be an eco-conscious traveler. You can narrow your results to green sustainable hotels through a theme filter on their destination pages. The results range from hotels featuring recycled artwork mm -hmm. all the way to lead certification. Here's a recent search on Hotels.com for Las Vegas and for a list of the best eco-friendly hotels in the top 10 U.S. destinations, check out Press.Hotels.com. They really make it easy for you. They do. You, you have no excuses. Okay. Tide Cold Water is specially formulated for cold water washing. So it helps you save energy and money when you switch to washing everything in cold. Mm -hmm. It even performs better in warm water than the next leading regular liquid detergent. With Tide Cold Water, you can save up to 80% of energy in every load. So great savings, great stain removal, great idea to and pick some up. And it smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's <What else>? important. <laughs> green Apple Supply is a nonprofit online store on a mission to convert you to a green product shopper. At GreenAppleSupply.com, you'll find tons of affordable, eco-friendly school and home supplies, like these cool natural canvas canvas backpacks and lunch bags. Cute. We've got the cow, we've got the monkey, $17.50 each. These recycled star crayons down here are $4.25. The colored pencils over here, $2 a bundle. And these stainless steel to-go wear, $5 per container, great for hot or cold lunch on the go. Nice. And then finally, some toys here. Some toys for the mom. Begin Again makes cool toys made with eco-friendly materials, which are um, such as these scented scoops right here, made in the USA from wood and cornstarch bioresin parts. The mm. scoops are scented with essences of natural strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, like you just smelled. And you can find Begin Again toys at Whole Foods and Amazon.com. And while you're online, check out GiveawayNow.com for okay. an opportunity to win some of these things I've talked Love about. Love it. Yesterday. Brian Von Diedenroth. Thank you once again. And if you want more info, just head to our website, lifeliftshopping.com. Those ice cream cones actually look a little edible. I think that that's a good toy right there. Well, time to start planning your spring and summer vacations, which is why we went to glamglobetrotter.com for their 101 guide. Hi, I'm Sarah Evans with Glam Globe Trotter, and I am here to give you some must-dos for spring travel. Uh, as we all know, most people budget for hotels, airfare, even excursions when they're traveling. But the one travel cost that can most quickly add up is dining out, which we all love to do. And for that, there's an amazing website called restaurant.com. I always use restaurant.com because it helps you save on thousands of restaurants nationwide, and you can discover these great dining deals when you need them. Leisure travelers love it, and so do business travelers. They're able to get a great meal out and stay within corporate expense budget, so it's, it's a win-win. So easy to use. You log on to restaurant.com, and you search restaurants close to the destination where you're traveling. There's no risk in planning ahead because these certificates that you purchase can be exchanged at any time. And if you are one of those people that travels on a whim, you're in luck because restaurant.com has this fabulous mobile app 
you download it to your phone and you can get dining deals sent to you anytime you search and you have savings at hundreds of restaurants right around you, right at your fingertips. So now that we have the dining covered, let's talk destinations. And one of the hottest destinations that people are buzzing about right now is the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin, Ireland. This is a seven-story building that's the official home of Guinness, and it's actually the number one visitor attraction in all of Dublin. Visitors love it because they're able to learn how the famous Guinness beer is made, and you can even get certified in pouring the perfect pint while you're there. Now, when you're there, you have to go up to the Gravity Bar. It's a 360-degree unrivaled view of Dublin. It's absolutely fantastic a must-see, and then you go to the Connoisseur Bar, which is new for Guinness Storehouse, and you can learn about Guinness history, you can taste some of the famous beers, and even see how they pair with, with different foods, which is, which is really cool. So now that you have the dining and destination covered, you're ready to travel. For more information, go to restaurant.com and guinness-storehouse.com for more information. About you. I'm ready for a pint of Guinness yeah. now. <laughs> she made it look really good. Well, when Life Love Shopping returns, we will show you a great tool to help you manage your kids' spending and teach them financial responsibility. Yes, plus find out what life lessons you and your kids can learn from watching some famous music documentaries like Justin Bieber's Never Say Never. Yes, you can learn something. Mm -hmm. Plus, the secret to a good cocktail is to keep it simple. So throughout the show, we will share some deliciously easy three-ingredient cocktails, starting with the pomegranate bellini. Cheers. Cheers. teens to practice financial responsibility, but how can they learn the kind of money skills that come from real life experience without risking their credit or their parents' money in the process, right? Yeah, that is a delicate, delicate balance. Yes. And I wish I had had this when I was a teen because it's a great way for them to learn financial responsibility. It's called My Plash. Love it. Really cool, right? It's kind of like plastic and cash. Yeah. It's a reloadable and responsible prepaid MasterCard. This is for teens and young adults. It's not a credit card, so parents don't have to panic. It's actually Good. more like a cross between a gift card and a traditional debit card, except unlike yeah. that gift card, it's really easy to reload it at any That's time. Good. And unlike a bank debit card, you don't have to worry about overspending or overdrafting. You That's can't important. do it. Yeah, so essentially, parents, you can put your teen's allowance on the card. You can even set it up automatically if you want to. You can conveniently manage their spending, and you're giving them an added safety net in case there's an emergency because you can right. instantly and remotely add money if you need to. That's really awesome. Yeah. And there's lots of other benefits of using MyPlash, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the best part is that MyPlash provides plenty of helpful tools, okay. tips, and features. They really give teens that chance to safely practice managing their money, but parents are still able to provide guidance and supervision. There's a financial literacy program mm -hmm. online for free, right on love their it. website, so that's cool. Here's a really fun part, too. Teens are going to love, there are more than 100 popular brand what? card designs. You can see like a couple here. here. So cute. They can create their own custom card. But I really think, above all, they're going to appreciate that opportunity to start establishing some independence. And you know? it's super easy to get started. Yeah, it's really easy. Um, there's no credit check. There's no contract. Love no commitment. It. You also get MasterCard zero liability protection, which is great. So MyPlash, really a no-risk solution to that common parenting yeah. dilemma. So if you go to MyPlash.com, you can learn more about it. That is awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much, Michelle. For more info, just head to our website, LifeLoveShopping.com. So kids look up to musical artists, right? So parents, why not use their star power to your advantage? These music documentaries are perfect to watch with your little ones, and they've got some built-in life lessons to boot. There's going to be times when people tell you that you can't live your dreams. This is what I'm telling you. Never say never! Beauty. Oh. Yeah, the Bieber fever. You know, we couldn't leave that off. Justin Bieber's documentary, Never Say Never, actually promotes fighting for your dreams and believing in yourself. It's a great message for the kids. And we hear that even the biggest haters will become believers after watching <laughs> this one. That's right. And this next one is for anyone who loves the glitz and the glam like you and me. Uh -huh. And maybe some really strange makeup. Check it out. Thank you so much for believing in my weirdness. Baby, you're a 
every single night. It's a whole new set of people. You have to really remember that and be grateful. If you have a dream, you got to go on a journey to fulfill that dream. Love her and her weirdness. Katy Perry has always been an advocate for individuality in her movie, Part of Me. She promotes self-confidence and reminds young boys and girls to never give up on their dreams. And this next star is everywhere. Mm, everywhere. Her documentary is a great one to watch with your team. People see celebrities and they have money and fame. But I'm a human being. I cry. I get scared. I get nervous, just like everyone else. Power's not given to you. You have to take it. Life is but a dream. It takes you inside Beyonce's home and her personal life. The message, kind of like the others, but it definitely has a more intimate feel. Morgan, I know you're a huge Beyonce fan. Did you watch yeah. this one? Yeah, I'm a stan. I had a watch party for this one. But the, uh, the only thing I really learned from it that I didn't already know was that she was really pregnant. Oh. <laughs> but it wasn't fake. But I don't know about that. <laughs> that's another, that's another it's still one up for debate, right? But know. I heard that one, too. If you watch it, you'll become a fan if you're not already. Yeah. So kind of cool to check out. That's true. Yeah, that's because they actually know she can sing. But for some reason, everyone in Hollywood thinks they're entitled to record a song, even if we don't want to hear it. One of my favorite Hollywood hot messes used to be able to act her butt off, and then this happened. I'm tired of rumors starting. I'm sick of being followed. I'm tired of people lying, saying what they want. I'm help me. The beginning of the end. Lindsay Lohan's album, Speak, actually sold more than one million copies in 2004, but her second album, only, had only one single and flopped in 2005, along with her acting career, it seems. But you may or may not have heard this song. I know I never had until I looked it up. Did you know Bruce Willis had a single, too? Yeah, if this song sounds familiar, it's because it was a remake of the song by the same title by the Staple Singers in 1971. He remade it in 87, and that's the last we heard of his singing career. Well, this girl has an Oscar for her acting skills, but unfortunately, she will never win a Grammy for this one. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson can actually sing. Bother, I'm still in shock. That was in 2008 that she released her album, Where I May Lay My Head, which landed at 126 on the Billboard's 200 chart. So no one wanted to hear that, including myself. What do you guys think? Bad. <laughs> I have to say, I one, I loved that Lindsay Lohan song yeah. back in the day. But do you know Anna Kendrick has a song out now? Really? Called, like, Cups or something? Cups. Uh, yeah. No. It was, <laughs> what kind of cups? Yeah. She's an actress. I don't know. It, are cups or flowers or sugars or I don't know. Remember when Paris Hilton made a song? Yeah. Or should I just say, remember Paris Hilton? No. Remember Paris Hilton? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of them out there. Stars are Take blind, Michelle. They're all blind, right? <laughs> she knows Thanks. all the words to all the songs. I do. I do. I'm going to admit it. It's okay. It. No shame. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> well, up next, we're going to reveal the three things you're doing that are aging you without even knowing it. Plus, find out why lying to your doctor about certain bad habits could seriously harm your health when life loves shopping returns. She knows all those. I know. She all was of singing them. them. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. <laughs> a little white lie is okay every now and then, right? But when you're telling them to your doctor, you are only hurting yourself. Shape Magazine shares the top lies women tell their doctors and why you need to stop. So the first half truth is saying, oh, no, I don't smoke. When the truth is you bomb a cigarette from a friend or a coworker every now and then, there's no safe level of exposure. And even social smokers are at risk for many conditions which could affect the prescriptions doctors write to you as well. The next half truth, oh, I drink occasionally. The real truth, you frequently enjoy wine with dinner, or maybe you've been known to down several drinks during half the hour. Technically, it could make you a heavy drinker, and that can be problematic when used in conjunction with meds, even the over-the-counter ones. And the last half truth, oh, I practice safe sex. When the truth is, maybe sometimes you skip condoms and you've been treated for an STD before, maybe. Well, sexual history is one of the top things women routinely lie about to their physicians. If you've had even one new partner since your last exam, ask to be screened just to be safe. 
and no one wants to speed up father time, but we could be doing it without even realizing. Here are the surprising things that aid you from the Huffington Post. Drinking from bottles and through straws. The puckering process your mouth makes, just like any repeated muscle motion, can lead to fine lines and wrinkles around the mouth, even uh, though you want to avoid the lipstick situation. Yeah, but, that's horrible. Yes, and then sugar. No doubt sugar is bad for your waistline, but eating sugary foods also can harm the collagen and elastin needed to keep your skin smooth and youthful, so avoid when possible. And central air and heating. What? The low humidity environments, such as those created by the central heat and air, can actually lead to dry skin, which is why you just use a humidifier, you yeah. know? The dry skin makes wrinkles much more pronounced so and worse. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have that space here on my desk that we no. all have that blows right in our faces yep. all day long. Don't blow it on your face. Dang we'll dry it. you out. All right. Well, here at Life Love Shopping, make sure you check out our Facebook page to stay connected and follow us on Twitter at Life Love Shop.